there's more to run hide fight. Instead of running, there's an escape strategy. It's not just running to your safety. It's escaping in a, in a strategy. Uh, hide, hide is, is more to that. It's barricading. You need to barricade yourself in a specific location, not just hide, because hiding could be me getting under a blanket. Is that really going to be a safe haven for me? And then the last one we talk about is, is instead of fight, we talk about it, um, survive. Because it's easy for me as a law enforcement professional to fight, but it's not easy for that typical average everyday person out there to necessarily fight. But what we want to do is impart that survival mindset. What we, what we pride ourselves on is not being a doomsday prepper. We're not a doomsday prepper. What we are is we are a mindset preparer. We prepare ourselves for those bad case, those worst case scenarios. So how many times do we see folks that are walking around? If we, we sit and we watch people, we can identify people that potentially have no idea what's going on around them. It's what we call oblivious to the world. Whereas we want people to be more engaged. We want them to have that survival mentality, that looking at something to say, hmm, that doesn't look right. Maybe I shouldn't stop and get gas at that location. Maybe I should go to another location. It's having a mindset and it's not necessarily surviving in the, in the terms of a, an incident that's a critical incident or a crisis. It's about surviving that engagement with whatever it is that we're involved with. Do I become uh, a victim of uh, a pocket theft? Do I become the victim of a perch snatch, snatching? Do I become the victim of X, Y, or Z? Not necessarily am I getting shot. So survival mindset is so much more than just surviving a crisis encounter.